Hey everyone, so we got a real cool show for you this week. Uh, we're heading into the Remac mine, and the Remac mine is just an awesome mine. It's the biggest mine I've ever been in. It goes down thousands of feet, and I don't know anyone that's ever made it to the bottom. A lot of people have tried and they ran out of rope. Um, there's apparently about 3,000 bass that live in there, but they don't know where exactly because they've never seen them. So we're going to go in this mine. It's really cool. Uh, first, we're going to show you a couple artifacts, and then we'll, we'll play the title, and then we'll take you to the Remac. You know, this is a really old miner's hat. It was one of the first fiberglass hats made. They were called hard-boiled hats by Bollard. And uh, they were made back around 1919 when they first started making these. These are a set of uh, wolf mining lights. They're really cool lights. They use them in mines. So here's a set of antique gold scales uh, with brass weights there. Here's some literature from the Granby Copper Mine, old Granby News from uh, 1917. And here's uh, an old Tommy stick, which is uh, the first lights they had in mines and stuff, just used a candle. And uh, this just kind of comes off and hangs on your light like that. And you could stick it in the side of a shaft of a timber or something, right? And here's some other lights that I got. I don't know what this is, it's called a wire press. Some of it's used to make some sort of wire to clean these carbide lamps out. I don't really know how it works. These are a collection of blacksmith tools. I just uh, I bought a whole bunch of them and I just sandblasted them all up and uh, put a little bit of paint on them. Alright, so we're here with Ken and we're just checking out the Remac mine. We uh, took that drone up for a little flight there. And there's just an awesome audit right up the very top. It's got a real narrow, goes way in. I'll show it to you on the drone. And so we're going to try to get down to the bottom level here. Alright, so we're just taking off from the kind of the lower level, the top of the mine here, uh, right by the hydro line. It's about a mile from the Penderel River. The processor was at the river. And uh, so this is a, just a really huge mine, um, over a thousand uh, feet from the top to the bottom. And then it goes way below the bottom level, so there, you know over a mile of vertical development in this in this mine. So um, you have, as you fly over, you think, like, well, you know that crack maybe doesn't look that big, but um, those trees are full-grown trees, eh? So there's two kind of a big sections that go straight down. There's been quite a few guys that tried to reach the bottom of this with ropes. Um, uh, one guy they said they had 800 feet of rope and they couldn't get to the bottom. Um, this is the site of the largest. Uh, hibernation site in BC. They've logged over 3,000 bats in here, but this is so massive uh, they don't know where they are. They've never been able to find them. They've tried to hire people to go down there and no one's caught to the bottom of there in the suburb that I know of. So it's a real uh, pretty interesting challenge to get to the bottom of this guy. There's two main levels in this mine. The 2,600 foot level, which is what we're sitting at with a screw where we're going to go in, and then about 800 feet below that um, there's the uh, 1900 level. That's the main haul level that all this ore was uh, was trucked out all the way to the Penderel River, about a mile along the tunnel, and that's where the ore came out. So we're going to go in there and uh, we'll show you a bunch of this mine. We're not going to get to the very bottom today. We're going to come back another day. Uh, we've got a plan to, uh, to get to a whole bunch of rope and go to the very bottom of the mine and see if we're probably going to be the first ones that have ever filmed the bottom of the mine. It's supposed to be inaccessible. Um, but obviously it's not because it was mined at one time. So there was miners down there 
and it, it used to go right underneath the river but I think that section will be flooded but uh, we'll see what we can find. This mine was a lead, silver and zinc mine. It shut down in 1971. Well, pretty cool uh, big opening down there. So we're going to go in behind Ken there and we're going to go around there. Um, but that is, as you can see, um, looking up this way, this is how we go into this portal. And uh, we just come down, it's a little icy here, but uh, pretty extensive mine. Um, there's probably going to be miles of, uh, of, uh, of tunnels and stuff here because from the town of Remac where we came, uh, it was quite a long ways on the skidoo and uh, Ken says that it's all connected, so um, pretty exciting mine. As you can see, that's a pretty neat uh, big glory hole here that they would have mined this out. And that's what you can see from the drone when we look down. All right, so this is what we we're seeing from the drone. It was a pretty impressive looking glory hole, so they mined all this out. And obviously, there must be a main haulage level below us there, and a probably a big railway, so there's quite a few levels to this mine. You can see we're at, oh, <coughs> don't trip there. <laughs> Yeah, you can see that this is a, there's a, um, one level there, there's a level below that, so that's one, two, and uh, there's a uh, one there, three, and we're seeing four there, so we can see four levels just from where we're standing here. Look at the sulfides on there, you can see the, see the deposit, the sulfides, that's what they would have mined, it's probably all of them full of sulfides, maybe a gold mine. And uh, so we're just going to head, this uh, winds around here, we're just going to head down this tunnel here and we can see if we can get down to that lower at it. Oh, that's cool. Never been in here in the winter. Oh, look at the size of those icicles there. Pretty cool. I don't think he's ever seen icicles that big. Some iron there. Well, this is a huge tunnel here, so this looks like it probably had uh, modern trucks in here. This doesn't look that old to me. It looks like they had big ore trucks in here because you never see uh, tunnels this big otherwise. Yeah, there, there's the rail, <laughs> rails outside so I imagine they had some kind of... Huh. Oh, there you go. So that, this was obviously a tunnel that went across here and then they, uh, they mined it all out, put a block in there. It was pretty neat. Oh, this is a neat mine. Wow, look at the size of that portal. I never saw anything that big, even in Phoenix. Oh, obviously we've got a level below us because we've got a bunch of light there, I think, eh? Yeah, there's... I think there's light, yeah. There's many levels. So it must there. be a... And there, well, that is just a huge bloody stope. I've never seen a stope that big anywhere. This is the biggest stope I've ever seen. It's rather intimidating. I don't know how many feet that up. That is, but... Man, i got to be... From top to bottom, guys, it's got to be like 200 feet. That's a huge open stope. Huh, is this ever impressive? We're just along this ledge here. So this is where we look down into the drone, this big slit. And this is what we can see from in here. All these different levels here. This would have been mined out by trucks in the 70s. Kind of a main hall level. And you can see those little holes, eh? And we're going into the stope on each side. Wow. And there we go. All right, so these look like the remains of a, there's probably a compressor in here and a winch. So uh, there would have been a compressor here because there's a big decline here. This is uh, one of the cars that they probably used to haul ore up from the bottom of the decline. There's the, where the compressor, the compressor and the winch set up was up in here. You see, just massive uh, working in here. So this is where this decline is, and that's a really cool decline. I'll just give you a shot here. See, look, like this is a big mine. Look how far apart those rails are. You're talking about maybe a 48 gauge on that? We've never seen mine cars that big. And this decline goes down. And it's kind of cool with these declines because there's the rope that's not really steep, and it's not that hard to get down to a bottom level there. All right, so we're heading down this. All right, keep moving down there, Ken. I'll just kind of show you how this works here. So Ken's just blowing himself down with the petrol rig there. This is a, a pretty good uh, decline. It's good practice for just getting used to using this plane. So I'll give you a shot up. we we'll come up that shot. There we go. That's what it looks like going up there. So 
pretty big shaft. And this is a 48 inch truck, so I had a, some pretty big carts coming back up and down here. Don't know ropes? They said they went down 500 feet in that video. They took the elevator down? Nice stuff. All right. So we're just looking at this uh, level. I'm not sure what level this is, but once we're way down in the big stoke. This is really cool. A little station. We can't go down the ore pass anymore because we ran out of rope. We got, I don't know, we got a hundred or so feet of rope and we don't have any more though. So it's a little steep to go down without a rope. A rope, there's another ore pass going straight down here. From a higher level. Fairly steep going down there, but there's no reason I can't continue going down the shaft. There's an old explosive box right there. And there's the. Oh yeah. So that's pretty old. That's pretty big rail. What they have this in here for? Yeah. And here is another. Oh, so <laughs> we need to go down to explore this mine. <laughs> yeah. Those Look, and there's quite a few, lots of electrical equipment and stuff in here, a little rusty shop. Look at the size of those cables. Oh, it's just a steel cable. And then another switching box there, I guess. And it's for the electrical box there. Well, this is a big mine. Not so far. So, this is copper here. These are copper. I believe it's mostly silver, it copper. Zinc and lead and some gold. You know, zinc isn't the sexiest the metals are uh, lead, but some of the biggest values of any mines in BC come from lead. Yeah. They made more money off lead than anything else. Everyone likes to talk about gold, but... <laughs> oh, there's a ladder going up and that's the, the manway on the side there. But we're not going to take that manway, it's too rotten. Yeah. Well, this we're going to get one of these days. These are those three tunnels as we came in. They're cross cuts that they used to work the stilt. So, the way they would have mined this is they put those cross cut tunnels up and went further up, and they would have started at the top and then slowly worked their way down. They would have had a big ore pass going down. So, you know, they'd never work a stilt that high. You always saw he walked for a good load. So, so, we're going to have a look down this cross cut tunnel here and see where it goes. All right, well, let's go down. I always like to go down the right-hand tunnel first because uh, then I remember exactly where I've been. Yeah. That's my rule. I always go to the right hand, and then you keep going right, right, and they get to the end, then you turn around, and then you keep going to right. Okay. That way you end up going in every, you'll, you'll, you'll have gone on every passage by the time you get out. You don't have to remember where you've been. Got a little shawl here, I guess, and I was a little more interested in some of <laughs> More water all while you feel like it was. First time. Yeah. So this was an entrance here. This was a. Uh, this goes right outside. It's oh. filled in, but we're just about outside here. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, I see. Okay. So you can't get up there anymore. It's not without digging. Digged in. Yeah. Pretty neat door. Yeah. A little stove here. Is that just a working level right hmm. there? Oh, they just found a little deposit in here and they just mined it out. So there's a bit of vein or something in here. This is interesting. There's sure, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, there were just little pockets to hold that. Little platform to work platform off. Up there, yeah. Okay, I hadn't seen that before. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Most tunnels don't have a lot of water in them because they build them at a slight uh, decline, so it takes less energy to push the carts out and also keeps the water out. Here, so we're starting to put a raise here now. Had some calcium carbonate there at the end of a little 
section we were in there wasn't quartz. Oh, very gray looking material in here. Well, that doesn't look, we're violating our right hand rule, but it doesn't look like it goes very far anyhow. Oh, here's some drill bits. Have a look at this here, Ken. I've seen these before. Oh, is this a piece of the dynamite box here? Yeah, it's a dynamite box, but these are... Oh, yeah. They put these on the end of drill steel. Yep. And they're drills. I've seen a whole bunch of them before. <laughs> I thought they were blasting caps, but I was wrong, so... There's a... I got corrected. Yeah, that's an old explosive box. Hmm. I've seen a box just like that in another mine that had those in it. So they... When they're drilling, they uh, they just weld a new bit on the end of the drill steel. Okay. Rather than having to sharpen them like they used to in the old days. Yeah. Well, there's a rat. He just stuck his nose in there. Yeah. I'm kind of smell it. Yeah. They have a unique odor. <laughs> oh, it goes back in there. What is it? Well, let me back to that stope, I think, probably. You're not going to get through there anyhow. But Look at that little thing. What's that? Is that it's a rat's nest. Yeah, that's a rat shit. That's a rat's nest. He yeah. builds a little house like that, eh? Yeah. That's... There's a drill steel stuck in the ribs there. Yeah. That's stuck in there. Uh, I know that. Yeah. That looks like it opens up in the, the stove here. Another big hole. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Nope. It's to the other side of it, I think. That's a big stove there. Yeah. Um, where we just were, it's blocked off. You just kind of see where that yeah, route yeah. was. But it didn't go. Yeah. Definitely goes to lower levels there. Oh, this is a dark section. Yeah. Well, there's easier, probably easier ways of going down there than that. Yeah. I think it'll all be connected under there anyways. I think so. I think you know, these stoves look so board. big. <laughs> kind of, I'd probably rather go down those declines because it's Hello. consistent uh, grade. Because uh, there's a lot of crap there, eh? That's what we went down, there. Eh? That's what we were going down. Yeah. Definitely scarier looking when you're looking down into it than when you're in it. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad, I guess. Eh? For me, anyway. I don't know if it'd be safer going down here or going down the stove bay. It doesn't really matter one way or the other, it's whatever you prefer. I don't think there's... I think as long as there's, you clean the shit out of it. Right? It can't really fall very far. I mean, you start sliding, you're going to hit the side of it. Okay, well, let's break my rule and we'll go on and <laughs> check this one. Because I don't think it's going to go very far here. I think it'll just uh, be the top. No, I can feel some air, I think. Well, you can see outside here. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, I should have stuck with my rule. Now I'm going to get fucked up. <laughs> I've been in here enough. I know where we are. Oh, okay. So you've been on this level, but you haven't been on the level below it? No, I haven't been below it. Oh, okay. I've been above Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, this is the easy level, right? So it's all level, right? Eh? Oh, yeah, there's the sunshine. Wow, look at that, eh? That's quite something. Oh, some stokes. Were we on the other end there? Yeah, we're. Is that where our packs are at the other end or yeah. no? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I never know where I am underground. Well, yeah, lots of little caverns in here. But Ken says he knows where we are, so. Yeah. There's some food for the bats. The bats like eating these moths, eh? Oh, yeah. Most people think bats eat a lot of mosquitoes, and they do eat some, but. I have to catch a lot of small mosquitoes to make much of a meal. Yeah. And moths are much tastier. <sighs> oh, yeah. Ah. It's 
good thing there's some light coming in here because he would never, it's so big there, he'd never be able to see nothing if there was no natural light here. Just took out some railway in here, see a lot of railway in here, just a bit here and there. Yeah. Ooh, pretty nice looking rock. Lots of beer cans in <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't find any uh, uh, decent explosive boxes or box like that in here, I don't think, on this level. It's had its fair share of visitors. HRC there, that, that was written with a carbide lamp, eh? Yeah, I see some more carbide lamp stuff here. Well, that's got to be old then, this is an old section. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty fair size mine, and here we got some rails. It was kind of cool with the rails going around the corner. Got some delicate colors in here. Really gray. Lots of close stones. Mm. One fifty, so that's one hundred and fifty feet in. That's her. Yeah. Ooh, this is up for something. I don't know what. All right, so we're just gonna have a fun on knife. This is one of the top level stopes here, and it's not that steep, so. We're going to have a look down here. This is where we uh, flew over with the quadcopter there. Got some shots of this. And uh, we're just going to wander down to the stope here. It doesn't look that steep. Going into here, we just had to hike down this little part here and we'll see if we can find another level. I don't think we want to go across there. <laughs> don't you nothing where you won't, eat you? Yeah. You gotta keep reminding yourself though, flies at you. Well, it's pretty solid rock. Yeah. I don't think there's any, I don't think it'd be unstable at all. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can find a cross cut level here. To go into. It's not really steep here. Looks like there's a cross cut level right behind it or underneath this, but I don't know if it's going to go very far. I know, Rick. If you throw a rock, it's dropped. Yeah, there we are. See, lots and lots of feet of stope. Just an excellent place to play with. Play with the ropes if you like going up and down steep slopes. And this here is a bat monitor, so they're calling the screams from the bats and a little charger here. <sighs> Some of the ones that we have, except obviously it's got a charger on it. We saw one bat in here. They were checking out another big stope. You don't see open stopes this big very many places, but here we are. We suspect this is hooked up the one that we we're investigating today, but um, Ken doesn't know of any way of getting past it, but it must have been connected at one time. So. 
pretty cool waterfall here. This is kind of the end of this stope that they mined out. And the way it goes, like way down there, it goes a long ways down there. That's just a massive stope. Yeah.